So, let's move on to a completely different topic again. Now, Team BASF coming from Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Germany, as well as Linköping University in Sweden. Welcome on stage. Fast, bold, loud. This is what describes the tuning scene. And then there's the BSF, a traditional, well-established German chemical company. But Timo, how do these two go together? Well, that would take about nine months to explain. But here's what you need to know. Our partner is the BSF coding division. They are responsible for creating car coatings. The BSF recently developed digital coatings. A digital coating is a replica of a physical one. It behaves exactly the same under different lighting conditions. We were given the challenge to use digital coatings to create an experience, preferably addressing new generations and outside of the conventional business. And you, as you might have probably already guessed, our industry is car tuning. Okay, a lot of things. Here's what we know. We have the BSF, a chemical company, digital coatings, and a challenge to create an experience in the car tuning scene. Sounds all good, but we don't know anything about car tuning. Let's change that. All right, well, first, there are car owners who like to redesign their physical cars. But this wouldn't be possible without the help of coding specialists who repaint their cars. And they both get their inspiration from virtual tuners. So as you can see, the tuning scene is strongly connected to other fields. So let's start by taking a look at Philip, the proud owner of this Nissan 200 SX Z edition. <laughs> yeah. But how does Philip get to such a beautiful car like this? First, he starts by looking for inspiration on online platforms such as YouTube or Instagram. There, other tuners showcase their work and inspire Philip. Next, he tries several designs in Forza Horizon 4, which is a racing game with a pretty good configurator. And then, he moves on to Adobe Illustrator to check the exact measurements. But this whole process takes weeks until it's perfect. And once Philip is happy with the design, he reaches out to a local coding specialist. But sometimes, he doesn't know who to pick, so he has to ask around in his local Facebook or tuning community. And last but not least, he gets all the contact information via Google. Okay, okay, Fabio, that sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, it is a pain. <laughs> As you might have heard, Philip's pain points are that he needs a lot of workaround tools to create his designs, that he relies on recommendations for coding specialists, and that the community is spread all over different social media platforms. Learning that, imagine how the BSF could change Philip's life and enhance his experience.
our vision is to make everyone's imagination become a reality. Pavo is our solution to connect the BSF and the tuning scene. It is a digital platform where you can create virtual car designs, you can connect with a coding specialist, and you can share your work with the community. Let's take a closer look at these functions. The garret is the place where all the creative work takes place. You can choose from a variety of digital coatings to paint your car, and even use shapes to create unique designs. Once your design is done, you can find a local coding specialist in your region. Get an offer for your custom design and book your appointment right away through Pavo to see your ideas come to life. And then there's the community. It is your place to share and discover designs. Connect to other tuners, share your creative work, or browse for an endless collection of virtual showrooms to get inspired. And our platform depends on its users. One of them is Philip, who used the platform to redesign his physical car. With Pavo, we cater his needs of one integrated platform to create designs, the recommendation of coding specialists, and the community. With Pavo, we fulfill Philip's needs, but all of this would not be possible without the coding specialist. What's in it for him? With Pavo, we provide him direct customer interaction, the possibility to showcase his portfolio and all technical coding information required for doing the repaint. Okay, so well, this might seem like a perfect fit, but as seen in the beginning, there are one more user group, and this is the most active one, the virtual tuners. Virtual tuners focus on creating car designs for fun, but similar to Philip, they face the same problems and need to rely on many different tools in order to create and share their work. With Pavo, we provide them an integrated platform with unlimited design freedom, a large selection of realistic digital coatings, and the possibility to share and inspire the community. During the fall presentation, you might already know our virtual tuner, Basti FX7. Due to the popular demand, we had the chance to bring him back here live on stage today, so please welcome Basti. What's up guys? Have you heard about this new platform Pavo? It's so amazing, the car coatings look so real. It is even better than the car racing games. Click down the link below to get a free copy of my designs. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Thanks Basti for this amazing feedback. We didn't even have to pay him for that. <laughs> Hashtag ad. <laughs> with Pavo we provide a centralized platform which combines virtual car design with physical realization and connects the tuning community. Pavo creates a unique experience for the tuning scene and makes your imagination become a reality. Thank you very much. And we presentation I was just wondering while listening to your presentation I have to admit I'm not a, a specialist in uh, car tuning not at all but I was wondering how big this market actually is not only in Germany but probably in Europe so what is the impact that BSF can really achieve with that on their PML sheet thank you for the great question regarding the marketing it's a growing industry of the car tuning and it's really popular in USA and as well in Europe and all the emerging markets such as India China and other Asian countries they are joining that's why the market is progressing, it's growing, but it's quite dispersed, what uh, my colleagues mentioned. That's why with Power we target to integrate this dispersed um, area and try to integrate all these markets together. Yeah, that answered your question. What does it mean in numbers? Just a rough estimate? <laughs> it's quite big. <laughs> <laughs> I can come back to you because I have it noted in, uh, in my notes. <laughs> yeah. um, thanks for this presentation. I like very much that um, a company like BSF is going into a community-based approach, so you include the community and you reach out to them. 
Um, just to reply, I think it's not so important how big this community is, but the approach itself could be also applied to other communities. So you start now with car tuning, maybe next time we have the people who want to paint their cars, uh, whatever, there's so many things out, and um, if this platform will work, you probably will create um, more and more communities, and, and, and people will love the NSF. <laughs> Other questions? I actually have a question I'm kind of wanting to ask if there's no Because, <laughs> well, first of all, you guys notice how they dress, but they all have like tattoos and stuff that they're supporting this look, so I love it. Um, so it's related to that. I knew nothing that this exists, like virtual tuning, anything that this guy existed at all. Which one of you knew anything about it? Like anything? So, okay, so tell me about that. How did you, you know, you, you get this thing and then now you're experts. <laughs> Okay, so we started on the internet because we really didn't know, we just Googled. Um, it turned out that there were so many Facebook groups, like endless, and we joined a local one and they had regular meetups and we decided to just go to one. And it was crazy because the first meetup we went to was on a parking lot and there were about 2,000 people and they were all showcasing the cars and we spoke to so many people and all of our prejudices were kind of thrown out. So it was a really valuable experience because you know you don't know anything about the industry and you really have to rely on the people you meet and talk to to find out more. How awesome is that? So I know there's people who are having trouble finding users and you have an endless Facebook group and then you go to a meetup with 2,000 users. Really cool, really cool. And other questions in the audience, in, in the back. Just, just now oh, a sorry. question, yeah. Um, so if you have now engaged with this community, uh, what's the business model? Where, where is um, the money flow? When you have specific contracts then with the paint shops or how does it work? Um, so part of the BSF is the ARM division and they are responsible for the um, refinish business and they already have some coating specialists with whom they work with. So um, we already have all these specialists yeah, with whom we can work from BSF side. So we have this kind of community um, and the plan is to um, earn money on the mediation between the coating specialists and the uh, creative um, car owners and as well we have the positive effect of bringing new customer to our uh, and coating specialists so that's awesome. Also as part of the project we also looked at the gaming industry and we took um, some information from that industry that people are willing to pay for digital assets which was something we didn't know about. And so we're planning on also charging the virtual tuners, which are like a large user group, and um, either with special coatings or special parts, um, just depending on what's okay. available. Okay, let's do that one last question in the back. Where's the microphone there? Thank you. Uh -huh. um, thank you very much. Uh, one question, I mean, currently users are, as you said, using InDesign uh, and other tools to create, um, and even Forza to create um, these, these digital assets. Does your tool measure up to this, or do you have a planned interface between these tools? Because I can imagine that professional tuners, they are using these professional tools, and if your tool is not as at least as good as the existing ones, they will not switch. Uh, because I get the community part and everything else makes a lot of sense, but this is a bit, yeah. Okay, so um, what we're trying to do with our platform is obviously be able to measure up to these programs. Um, we have additional features that these other programs don't have. Uh, for example, the specific information about the measurements, um, which isn't available on, on Adobe InDesign or those kind of things. And then we already automatically produce a fact sheet, which has the perfect measurements and the codings those kind of things. So yes, we're planning on measuring up to existing configurators, um, but we're also adding um, another feature which is in, in those programs. All right, I think we're running out of time, so let's stop there, but thank you once more. <laughs>